What is up guys? It's your favorite YouTubers, favorite YouTuber here. Today we're gonna to be talking about tattoos. And I have five tattoos, we're gonna talk about when I got them, why I got them, and what they mean to me. So, with that being said, let's get right into this. All right, so the first tattoo that I have is a small cross on my left hand. Now when I got this tattoo, I was 16 or 17, I can't remember for sure. One of my buddies had a couple tattoo guns and I wanted to see what a tattoo felt like. But he told me, to come on over and test out his gun. I gave myself actually two tattoos, which we'll get to the second one in a minute. But the first one here is this little cross on my left hand. So I have this cross on my left hand. When I got this tattoo, it really didn't mean anything to me, and I don't mind at all. I kind of like the tattoo. It's small, it's little, it's on my hand. I just basically wanted to see what a tattoo felt like before I went with anything bigger. I didn't really want to try too much because it was my first time with a tattoo gun. I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. With that being my first tattoo, I definitely am glad that I gave myself this tattoo. Definitely no regrets there. My second tattoo is I have three little dots on my right hand. Now the reason I did this was because I'm right handed and that's the only thing I could do with my left hand. I have these right here. Like I said, it's the only thing I could do with my left hand. Do I regret getting it? Not at all. I don't regret getting any of my tattoos and I never will because at the time it's exactly what I wanted. I think that tattoos are one of the coolest forms of art because they're with you forever. It's a permanent thing on your body. There's always a story to tell. Now the second tattoo that I have is the outline of the state of Minnesota on my left forearm with the word nice in it, standing for Minnesota nice. It's just kind of a saying for all of us Minnesotans, I guess. When I got this tattoo, I saw this guy that I knew from the town that I was living in at the time on Facebook posting pictures of tattoos that he was doing. and I hit him up and I was like hey do you want to do a Minnesota nice tattoo for me and he actually did it for free which is super cool not the best tattoo I do like it I get a lot of people that look at it and they're like wow that's a really cool tattoo and depending on who you are I might tell you that I did it myself just to keep the other guy's name out of it hopefully not get him in any trouble because I think I was 17 at the time yeah I definitely was 17 at the time so here it is Like I said, not the best, not the most well done tattoo. I do love it, and even a lot of older people um, definitely tell me that it's a really cool tattoo. You know, it's a good conversation starter. Definitely a good piece. If you're ever thinking about getting tattoos, don't even have second thoughts, just do it. I know a lot of people say put a lot of thought into it. It's a permanent mark on your body. It could potentially ruin your life. You know, I don't really, I don't care what anybody thinks. I'm gonna get what I wanna get on my body, and nobody's gonna stop that from happening. The next tattoo that I got after that one was on my rib cage. I got it because my daughter was just born. I believe she was about a month old, maybe even less when I got it. It says her name, which is Aubrey. I got it done by an apprentice by the name of Dustin Foskey in Anoka, Minnesota, down by the cities. And I was super happy with how it turned out. He gave me a super good deal. He also gave my girlfriend a tattoo at the same time, so he gave us kind of like a little package deal. That one there was the first ever professional tattoo that I got done. It wasn't in a basement of a house, wasn't in a trailer house. I was extremely happy with that one and the way that it turned out. I always told myself the day that I had kids that I would get their names tattooed on my body. Honestly, my daughter means more to me than anybody else. As you know, a lot of other people mean a lot to me also, but my daughter means the most to me. She's the most amazing thing that's ever happened to me. So that is why I got her name on my body. And I plan to have one more child at least, and then her name will go on my other rib cage on the right side. We can get on to my last tattoo, which is probably one of my favorite tattoos that I have. Uh, it's like a skin rip through design. It's on my chest, right over my heart. It says family inside of a diamond. When I got this tattoo, I always wanted a tattoo that said family because family means a lot to me. I put it over my heart because I always want my family to be with me and I love my family very much. I did the skin rip through design to give it little cracks and fractures and also in the shape of a diamond. It just shows that you know a diamond is virtually unbreakable. I think that family is very unbreakable. Even when there is stress and problems in the family, family is the only people that will always be there through everything, no matter what. That is why I got that tattoo. So 
So those are all the tattoos that I have. Like I said, I love every one of my tattoos. I definitely plan to get more. It don't Like I said, I don't regret getting any of my tattoos and I don't think I ever will. People always tell me when you're old, you're really gonna regret getting that tattoo. You're gonna regret messing up your body. To be honest, I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. I'll get whatever tattoos I wanna get whenever I wanna get them. Nobody can tell me differently. I think tattoos are the coolest form of art. Always will believe that. Go ahead, write in the comments. Anybody can tell me whatever. I don't give a fuck about what anybody says about my tattoos because they are my tattoos, that's me, and I love these tattoos.